Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math for Quarter 2, Week 4 Milk Base Let's learn about Changing Fraction to Lowest Term Lesson 2 Hello kids! Today, we are going to learn about changing fraction to lowest term. In the previous lesson, you have learned how to get the greatest common factor or GCF of two numbers using the prime factorization. In this lesson, you will use the GCF to get the lowest form or terms of the fractions. After going through this lesson, you are expected to Change fraction to lowest forms Look at the example. Study the illustration of two fractions. Observe if the two fractions are equal or equivalent fractions. This shows 4 8 of the figure. This shows 1 half of the figure. You will also notice that 1 half is the lowest form or term of 4 8. The above illustration of fractions are equal. To find the lowest term or to change the fraction into its lowest term, you will need to find first the greatest common factor or both numerator and denominator. Study the example below. Change 8 12 to lowest term. Step 1. First, find the prime factors of 8 and 12 or both numerator and denominator to get the GCF. Here are the prime factors of 8 and 12. 8 is equals to 2 times 2 times 2. 12 is equals to 2 times 2 times 3. The common factors of 8 and 12 are 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. So the GCF of 8 and 12 is 4. Step 2. Second, divide both 8 and 12 or both numerator and denominator with the same number of GCF. Remember the GCF is 4. We will divide 8 and 12 with the GCF, 4. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Therefore, the lowest form of 8, 12 is 2 3rd. Now, try to do the following activities. Learning Task 1 Change the following fractions into its lowest term. Number 1 9, 12 Here are the prime factors of 9 and 12. The prime factors of 9 is 3 times 3. And the prime factors of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. The common factor is 3. So the GCF of 9 and 12 is 3. Next, divide the numerator and the denominator with the GCF. 9 divided by 3 is 3. 12 divided by 3 is 4. Therefore, the lowest form of 9, 12 is 3 fourth. Number 2. 10, 18. Here are the prime factors of 10 and 18. The prime factors of 10 is 2 times 5. And the prime factors of 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. The common factors of 10 and 18 is 2. Therefore, the GCF is 2. Next, divide 10 and 18 with the GCF. 10 divided by 2 equals 5. 18 divided by 2 equals 9. Therefore, the lowest form of 1018 is 5 9. Number 3, 1836. The prime factors of 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. And the prime factors of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. There are 3 common factors. 2 times 3 times 3. 
2 times 3 times 3 equals 18. So the GCF is 18. Then divide 18 and 36 with the GCF. 18 divided by 18 equals 1. 36 divided by 18 equals 2. Therefore, the lowest form of 1836 is 1 half. Number 4, 1226. The prime factors of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. The prime factors of 26 is 2 times 13. There is only one common factor, which is 2. So the GCF is 2. Next, divide 12 and 26 with the GCF. 12 divided by 2 equals 6. 26 divided by 2 equals 13. Therefore, the lowest form of 1226 is 6 13. Number 5, 24 40. The prime factors of 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. The prime factors of 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. There are three common factors. These are 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. The GCF is 8. Then divide 24 and 40 with the GCF. 24 divided by 8 equals 3. 40 divided by 8 equals 5. Therefore, the lowest form of 2440 is 3 fifth. Number 6, 2836. The prime factors of 28 is 2 times 2 times 7. The prime factors of 36 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. There are two common factors. These are 2 times 2 equals 4. The GCF is 4. Then divide 28 and 36 with the GCF 4. 28 divided by 4 equals 7. 36 divided by 4 equals 9. Therefore, the lowest form of 2836 is 7 ninth. Now, let's move to learning task 2. Put a check if the fraction is already in its simplest form and put an X if not. Number 1, 1868. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross. Very good. Cross. Because the simplest form of this fraction is 310. Number 2, 512. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross. Very good. Check. Number 3, 20 over 32. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross. Very good. Cross. Because the simplest form of this fraction is 5 8. Number 4, 7 ninth. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross. Very good. Check. Number 5. 12 25th. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross. Very good. Check. Number 6. 34 85th. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross. Very good. Cross. Because the simplest form of this fraction is 2 5th. Number 7. 25 sixtieth. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross. Very good. The answer is cross because the simplest form of this fraction is 512. Number 8, 35 43rd. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross. Very good. The answer is check. Number 9. 3578. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross. Very good. The answer is check. Number 10. 1415. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross. Very good. The answer is 
check. Number 11, 13 19th. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross? Very good. The answer is check. Number 12, 16 48th. Is it in its simplest form or not? Check or cross? Very good. The answer is cross because the simplest form of this fraction is one third. Now, let's move to learning task 3. Express the given fraction in its simplest form or lowest term. Number 1, 27 49th. The prime factors of 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. The prime factors of 49 is 7 times 7. There is no common factor. It is already in its simplest form or lowest term. So still, the answer is 2749. Number 2, 2545. The prime factors of 25 is 5 times 5. The prime factors of 45 is 5 times 3 times 3. There is only one common factor, 5. So the GCF is 5. Then divide 25 and 45 with the GCF. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9. Therefore, the lowest form of 25 45 is 5 9. Number 3, 15 18. The prime factors of 15 is 3 times 5. The prime factors of 18 is 3 times 2 times 3. There is only one common factor, 3. The GCF is 3. Divide 15 and 18 with the GCF. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 18 divided by 3 is 6. Therefore, the lowest form of 15, 18 is 5, 6. Number 4, 14 over 42. The prime factors of 14 is 2 times 7. The prime factors of 42 is 2 times 7 times 3. There are two common factors, 2 and 7. 2 times 7 equals 14. So the GCF is 14. Then divide 14 and 42 with the GCF. 14 divided by 14 equals 1. 42 divided by 14 equals 3. Therefore, the lowest form of 1442 is... One third. Number 5, 16, 48. The prime factors of 16 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. The prime factors of 48 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. There are 4 common factors. 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 equals 16. So the GCF is 16. Divide 16 and 48 with the GCF. 16 divided by 16 is 1. 48 divided by 16 is 3. Therefore, the lowest form of 16, 48 is 1 third. Number 6, 9, 54. The prime factors of 9 is 3 times 3. The prime factors of 54 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 3. The common factors are 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. The GCF is 9. Divide 9 and 54 with the GCF. 9 divided by 9 equals 1. 54 divided by 9 equals 6. Therefore, the lowest form of 954 is 1 sixth. Learning Task 4 Select the fractions that are already in its simplest form. Here are the fractions that are already in its simplest form. These are 5 8 7 11 17 19 13 26 11 20 13 19 19 27 11 21 and 13 19th. And for our last activity, 
Learning Task 5 Express the following fractions in lowest term. Number 1. 15 fiftieth. The prime factors of 15 is 3 times 5. The prime factors of 50 is 2 times 5 times 5. There is only one common factor, 5. So the GCF is 5. Divide 15 and 50 with the GCF. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 50 divided by 5 equals 10. Therefore, the lowest form of 15 50th is 310. Number 2, 824. The prime factors of 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. The prime factors of 24 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. The common factors are 2. 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. So the GCF is 16. Divide 8 and 24 with the GCF. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 24 divided by 8 is 3. Therefore, the lowest form of 8 24 is 1 third. Number 3, 14 49th. The prime factors of 14 is 2 times 7. The prime factors of 49 is 7 times 7. There is only one common factor, 7. So the GCF is 7. Divide 14 and 49 with the GCF. 14 divided by 7 equals 2. 49 divided by 7 equals 7. Therefore, the lowest form of 14, 49 is 2, 7. Number 4, 6, 63rd. The prime factors of 6 is 2 times 3. The prime factors of 63 is 3 times 3 times 7. There is only one common factor, 3. So the GCF is 3. Divide 6 and 63 with the GCF. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 63 divided by 3 equals 21. Therefore, the lowest form of 6 63rd is 2 21. Number 5, 18 81. The prime factors of 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. The prime factors of 81 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. There are two common factors, 3 and 3. 3 times 3 equals 9. So the GCF is 9. Divide 18 and 81 with the GCF. 18 divided by 9 equals 2. 81 divided by 9 equals 9. Therefore, the lowest form of 1881 is 2 ninth. And number 6, 9 44th. The prime factors of 9 is 3 times 3. The prime factors of 44 is 2 times 2 times 11. There is no common factor. It is already in its simplest form or lowest term. So still, the answer is 9 44th. Remember, to simplify fractions or change fractions into lowest form, Divide both numerator and denominator by their greatest common factor or GCF. When the GCF of both numerator and denominator is 1, the fraction is in lowest term. Kids, are your all answers correct? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learned a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye! Thanks for watching!